Okay, so I'm going to show you how to connect an Apple TV to a business or university WPA2 enterprise network that usually requires a login to access it. The reason I'm doing this is because I had a hard time doing it on my own, Apple TV, and searching the internet and even Apple's own website wasn't actually all that helpful. But yesterday, through lots of trial and error, I figured it out. So I thought I'd save you guys some time and show you how to do it. Alright, so here's what you're going to need. An Apple TV, mine is the third generation, the power cord, a USB-A to micro-B cable, and a computer that is connected to the Wi-Fi network you want your Apple TV to work with. So go on your computer, go to the App Store, search Apple Configurator, Apple Configurator is meant to um, have your computer access devices on a way that you no can't normally do through the interface. So this is to be able to access the insides basically of the Apple TV. Click install. Once that's done, go in Launchpad, wait for it to finish. Once that's done, go ahead and open that up, accept, and get started. So it's going to search for devices, and I don't have any connected. So now's the time. My Apple TV is plugged into power. I'm plugging in the USB cable, and it'll pop up here in just a second. There we go. Double click that. Yep, that's our Apple TV. So click File new profile. Here in general you want to name this something you'll remember so I'm gonna name mine Apple TV 3 profile. You don't need to touch any of the rest. Go to Wi-Fi, click configure, and enter the name of the Wi-Fi network you want to access. This has to be exactly the same as what the name is. It can't be any different at all or else this will not work. Go down to security type, click WPA slash WPA2 Enterprise. Go ahead and check the PEAP box and type in your username. And password. Go ahead and click trust. And go down to certificates. Click configure. Now it's looking for a certificate. So, we need to find the certificate. Press command space and type keychain. The certificate is actually used for um, identifying your computer and making sure that it's okay for it to work with the Wi-Fi. Click login, click my certificates, and look down for something you recognize that has your university or business name on it. So mine is this one right here. I wanna right click that, click export, and export to the desktop, click save, and we can exit out of key, keychain access, and go to desktop here, click the certificate we just saved, click open, there we go. Now go back to Wi-Fi, under trust you should now see the certificate you just put in, click check, and now you can close this, make sure it's saved, so I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Now on the Apple TV, go to Profiles, click Add Profiles, and there's the profile we just created. Click Add. And it'll take a couple minutes to add it to the device. And there we go. There it is, and that's all you need to do. Now, all you have to do is connect it to your TV and join the network you want to join, and it should be smooth sailing from here. So thank you very much for watching this video. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. And I hope to see you again soon.